warmer company. This is the best way to spend the Christmas season. Wouldn't everyone agree? Yeah! I totally agree, Hero M. You can't beat the feeling of drinking some hot chocolate while eating bibinka. Oh, I love bibinka! Me too! Three, three! Wait, what's bibinka again? I only know put the a bibinka commonly refers to a type of baked rice cake from the Philippines that is traditionally cooked in a terracotta oven lined with banana leaves and is usually eaten for breakfast or as merienda, especially during Christmas season. Uh, why do you know so much about bibinka? Well, whatever, it is really good. Okay, sure, hand me a slice of that. Mm. Wow! Mmm, this is really good! Fluffy and very yummy! We told you, this has to be the best Christmas gift you could give anyone! Speaking of Christmas gifts, I think it's about time that we exchanged gifts! Come, everyone, gather round! Okay. Are we all here? Yup. Seems like everyone's present, Mr. M. Alright then, let's begin. Jacob, who did you get in your Christmas exchange gift? I drew Gavin for my exchange gift. For you, I got you a new cake. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, Jacob. I'll make sure that I'll wear this in my next mission. Great! Now, how about you, Gavin? Who did you get? I have to get a gift for Kiara, and I got the perfect gift for you. Here, a pair of rubber suits, because yours keep breaking from your super speed. Whoa, that's a perfect gift for me. Thanks, Gavin. Very nice choice, Kid 3. Now, who are you giving your gift to, Kiara? I picked out a gift for the one and only Miro. Here's my present for you, Shades for your Lazy Vision. Thanks! This is exactly what I wanted. Well, I guess it's pretty obvious who I'm giving my gift to then. Here you go, Jakob. I made sure to get you something you'd like. It's a new set of face so you can practice your super strength. Oh, I love this gift. Thank you so much. Well, now that's all done, how about we move on and start singing some karaoke Christmas carols? Who wants to go first? Oh, dibs! I'm going to sing It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. Huh? Wait, hold on a minute. What's wrong, Gavin? Did you want some more hot chocolate? It's just that, what about you guys? It's not that we don't have a gift. It's just... Well then, why not just show us what gift it is then? Come on! We're dying to know what it is! We were planning on saving this gift for later in the night. But I guess this is as good a time as any. Okay, listen up, young heroes. Because Leo and I are going to tell you the story of the first Super Kid. Does anyone know what the name of the very first Super Kid is? Jehovah! That's right. And does anyone know how Jehovah was born? Did he come from outer space? That's why he has powers? Or did his mom get exposed to toxic waste while she was still pregnant? Kids! Kids! Where are you getting all these ideas from? Pretty sure it's from the comics they're reading. But how is Jehovah born here? Um, and why do we need to know about it? You see, the reason that we celebrate Christmas is not just for the gifts and the holidays, no, no. It's actually about Jehovah. <gasps> You need to know about the hero who made this all possible. The birth of Jehovah is something we call the virgin birth. 
And as always, let's look at some passages to see how that worked out. For today, we have Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 25 and Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38 to check out and read. First, we'll read Luke. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel, Gabriel, to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. But Leo and Hiram, what does this story mean? Super kids, you have to understand that the virgin birth is something impossible to do. God did a miracle when he sent his angel to tell Mary that she would give birth to his son, the Messiah. Exactly. God just said it and she became pregnant. God saw Mary as favorable, and so she would be the mother of the Messiah who would fulfill God's plan in the world to die to save us. Wait, so we celebrate Christmas because the greatest superhero ever died? That's kind of sad if it's true. Well, actually, the story doesn't end there. He does sacrifice himself to save us, but after three days, he comes back to life. And that's all part of his miraculous story. We celebrate Christmas because this is when our Savior was born. And it was miraculous. But there are other things we can learn from this. Let's check the passage of Matthew to see if there's anything different that we can learn. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, he took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. So another thing that we see here is that Joseph, Jehovah's dad, wanted to leave, but he didn't. Oh, I think that's because God told him that Mary's child was the Messiah. Not just that, Mary was also fulfilling a prophecy because a virgin gave birth to a son. That's right, super kids. Do you know that Jehovah fulfilled many prophecies when he was doing his miracles in Jerusalem? 
But even before he was born, and even as a child, he was already fulfilling so many prophecies or promises of God. It just goes to show how miraculous his birth was. We know that it was impossible, but God can do anything. So, what did you learn, Super Kids? I learned that even as Super Kids, sometimes we run into stuff that we can't beat. But we should remember that God can do the impossible. Not only that, He fulfills His promises to us. Imagine that a prophecy was fulfilled. Jehovah was doing super things even before He was born. And I know He made me super. Hmm, I think that just remembering that God can do anything reminds us that we should always be asking for God's help. He can help us in whatever we do, because nothing is impossible with him. Good job, kids. We all have something to learn from this. Now, who wants some more hot chocolate and bibinka? And maybe I'll do the singing this time. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Merry Christmas, Anna. Oh, what's wrong? Why do you look so gloomy? I think it's just really sad that I'll have to celebrate Christmas at home, Mom. It sucks. I know how you're feeling. It just seems like every day is the same and it's so hopeless. When can I go out with my friends again or go to the mall and have fun? COVID sucks. I understand, Anna. Have you been praying about it? I always have been, but it seems like God won't answer my prayer. Doesn't He want to do good things? Doesn't He want us to be happy? Of course He does. But remember, Anna, God answers our prayers in His own time and in His own perfect way. We have all been praying for this pandemic to end so we can go back to our regular lives. I don't know for sure how God will choose to work through this situation, but at least lately, it seems our, our prayers are getting answered because the restrictions are going away. But I want this pandemic to end now. Of course, Aina. I know you really miss your friends and your cousins. I also want you to enjoy Christmas outside, but it's not super safe yet. But we should remember that this is a season to celebrate because God is always good and always faithful. And why is that? Because even if everything sucks, we still have the Lord and He always has a great plan for us. I mean, look, we're still safe, we're still alive. And Christmas reminds us of our God who can do the impossible. The miraculous birth of His Son gives us hope even in a dark time. Right! God can do the impossible! That's right, Anna. So, why don't we continue to pray and ask that this pandemic ends, while also thanking God for what He's done? Okay, I'll lead the prayer, Mom! Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and all your blessings. Thank you, Lord, that our family and loved ones are safe up to now. I pray that the pandemic will end soon, Lord, all according to your own time and perfect way. Help us, Lord, to be patient and continue to be faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Super Kids, even in the times when we feel that things are impossible, remember that we have a God, Jehovah, who can do anything. We just have to ask in faith and wait on His answer. He will always answer in time. And speaking of time, I think ours is up for today. It has been a super fun journey with you all. See you sometime soon, and Merry Christmas!